Hugh Taylor Birch, who was he? Where did he come from? Let's start at the beginning. Hugh Taylor Birch was born in 1848 to Erastus and Sally Birch on a farm in the Wisconsin wilderness. Erastus moved the family to Indiana and eventually to Ohio to work with Horace Mann, who founded Antioch College. Birch attended Antioch, where he was the star pitcher of the baseball team, founder of the drama club, and interested in courses on nature. At 24, he moved to Chicago to study law and became assistant state attorney for Illinois. During this time, he met and married Mariah Root from Buffalo, New York. Birch had a successful career for the next 40 years, eventually serving as general counsel for Standard Oil. A nature lover, he began purchasing undeveloped land around the Chicago area until 1893, when the Chicago World's Fair opened and Birch saw Henry Flagler's Rolling Florida Exposition, a railroad car lined with photos of Florida and filled with tropical Florida produce. Intrigued by the exotic exhibit, Birch took the summer off to travel south to Florida by train. One of his fellow travelers was Henry Flagler himself, who invited Birch to his Palm Beach home. Once there, Flagler told Birch of his dream to extend his railroad to Key West through the South Florida wilderness. Intrigued, once again, Birch borrowed a sloop from Flagler and sailed south alone along the coast until a tropical storm forced him into what is now Bahia Mar Yacht Basin. Birch fell in love with the beauty of the area and decided to stay. From 1894 through the 1920s, Birch purchased hundreds of acres of land between the ocean and the Middle River for anywhere from $1 to $4 an acre. He hired a property manager named Jeff Lockett, an African-American businessman who became his friend and confidant, dubbing him Big Boss. Birch's only daughter, Helen, shared his love of land and nature, so in 1919, Birch gave her 35 acres as a wedding present upon her marriage to Frederick Bartlett, a muralist from Chicago. Bartlett designed what is now Bonnet House, and while Helen and Frederick traveled in Europe, Birch oversaw the construction. Birch actually lived at Bonnet House for many years, even after the passing of Helen. Finally, however, with his wife and all three children gone, Birch, this tall, quiet man, known for his white hair and beard, became reclusive, preferring the beauty of nature to people. He began experimenting with exotic plants and trees and is responsible for bringing both the coconut and royal palm to South Florida. In 1940, at the age of 90, Birch began building his five-bedroom Art Deco Mediterranean-style home overlooking the Atlantic Ocean for $15,000. His caretaker, Jeff Lockett, also lived on the property in a house built for him by Birch. Birch credited the Florida climate for his health and longevity, so in 1942, as a thank you to the people of Florida, he donated 180 acres to the state of Florida for a state park. Just before his death in 1943, Birch gave three miles of beach to the city of Fort Lauderdale with a stipulation that it remain undeveloped, visible, and accessible to the public forever. The state park opened in 1954 and later added a small railroad that wound around the park through tropical vegetation over a coastal dune lake, past an orchard of coconut and palm trees, under live oak canopies, and back to the beach in a three-mile loop, all for only 50 cents. Other amenities included a horseback riding stable, picnic pavilions, children's playgrounds, restroom facilities, and boat rentals on the lagoon. Cabanas overlooking the beach were reserved and served by the restaurant, then called Coco's Cafe. The cafe served hot dogs and hamburgers and the world's greatest grilled cheese sandwiches, along with milkshakes and ice cream. During the park's heyday, before Disney World became Florida's biggest attraction, Birch State Park was one of the most well-attended parks in the state, with a 